Bobby was like really good. He would just call every, like everyone get the call instantly. Do you want to call us? <laughs> yeah, it's a fun game, that's right. I personally hate it, because so. <laughs> I It's fun, but I personally hate <laughs> it. Other people think it's fun. What are some get-to-know-you games, not necessarily game games, just like get-to-know-you games? Like two treats in a lot? Yeah. 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 The one we played that started here was really good, getting to know what we've done over the summer. I thought that was a good way to break the ice, learn some things about other people. Other ideas? We'll wait for two more. There's the one where like you stick some sort of like noun on your forehead and you ask questions. It's like uh, headbands if you've ever played. <laughs> I mean, we've played yeah. it at a couple district events. And you can make it seasonal too, so like you can have it for your fall semester, you can have it like pumpkin. Uh, I, I do remember one, uh, you stand in a circle and one person is in the middle and they call a name and the person whose name is called has to duck and the people next to them have to fire and the first person to say bang uh, <laughs> wins the uh, draw but if the person does not duck when they say bang, they're out. <laughs> so it's whoever loses the draw. There's another game that I'm not sure what it's called we do it like all the time like for training and stuff. So everyone stands in a circle and like you all have like a like, piece of paper down or something to mark your place. And then it's, oh, it's actually the wind, wind blows. Yeah. And so you say like, the wind blows if you like the Chicago Cubs or like just something like that. If you study chemistry, if you study nursing, if you study communications. And if you do have that, if you're similar, then like we try to do like, if someone has a dog, like how most people are have like a pet, they all move. And if you don't meet to a spot in time, then you're stuck in the middle. So then you know oh. different facts about different people. Soulmate. What was it? Yeah. Soulmate. Soulmate. Yeah. Do you want to explain? Yeah. Oh, uh, one person goes up there and they're like not facing the crowd. Whole well, crowd standing up, and the person says stuff that describes them. Like, I'm a dog person, and everyone that doesn't agree with that statement sits down until you narrow it down to one person and your soulmates. And that person goes up there. We played that at Key Club Decon with a room of 150 high schoolers. I'm sorry I put you through that. That was. Uh, yeah. It was, it was loud. <laughs> Very loud. Awesome. So a lot of times people grow up when they hear icebreakers, but these are the things that um, really help build connections. If you don't want to call them icebreakers, call them like team building exercises. That's not awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the last one, S is service. So we are a community service organization. Yeah, I know, right? Um, and something that we should be doing is service. So what if we've been talking about having social during a meeting, right? Breaking up the icebreakers, that's that's fellowship right there. What if we also threw in a service project? So there is a plethora of different ideas you can bring to doing service. There is color smiles. So that's basically a sheet of paper where you just color it in and then you send it off to people who are having a bad day. There's an organization that collects all of them and distributes them. There is Clarnin, which has all of a sudden taken a off and long. What that is, is you have a ton of plastic bags, you cut them, and you roll it into a giant plastic ball, and they use this for mats. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there is. We have so much Clarnin from our events. So, first of all, here's our plastic bags. There's a lot. But this is what Clarnin looks like, and there's a place in Milwaukee, I forgot what it's called, that takes this and rolls it up into mats for the homeless. So plastic bags, you're being environmentally friendly and you're doing service at the same time. Yeah. Also, if you know how to knit, um, when I was in Boulder's Club in middle school, we did the same thing, but we actually like started knitting with them. And you can make blankets and then you can just hand them out if you like on your own if it's something that you're interested in. And these are small service projects that you can do like during the meeting, right? If you need to like do it before, you can do it in the middle or after. I would advise against after just because people are tending to leave then, so I'd recommend either before or during the meeting. Um, you could do a service project. Have potential members sign up for a service event. Get them involved right away. So if you have a cool event, which you should already have planned before the school year starts, another reason to have a summer meeting with your board, 
you can have them sign up for that and they'll be into Circle K right away. Uh, the second thing is with district events. If you all haven't heard of MAC before, we're going to have save the dates and slime when you leave. MAC is a super fun fall event. Yeah, so do you want to hold that up again? There's, uh, there's there should be one at every row. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Now there's there's, alien there's there. little alien <laughs> figures <laughs> in that. The theme is spooky service or something along that lines because it's right around Halloween. This is so much fun. It's at Camp Lobby. We do service, we do fellowship, we do everything. It's so much fun. Totally go. This isn't about that, but that's the way to get members involved. Um, show up what you've done in the past, like a talk about, have pictures, have people talk about those pictures, highlight your own experiences. If you had a positive experience at a service project, let people know. Your enthusiasm is contagious. Have your own club members talk about what they've done. Again, get other people involved in your meeting and encourage new ideas. So just because you like a service project idea doesn't mean that everyone will. So at first meeting you can gauge, are these people environmented, invested in helping the environment? Are they invested in helping the homeless and the elderly? What do we want to do? So get some thoughts and comments at your first meeting about what they want to do to help their community. Oh boy, okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. So, fun fact, there is no internet, there's no Wi-Fi here, right? So, we made our Kahoot cards. Correction, just made the Kahoot cards. So, give Jess a round of applause because... This was very... Yeah, so, how it's going to work is there's going to be a slide up there and you're going to raise your card at what you think the answer is. Sometimes there's multiple answers to the same slide, so choose whatever one you think is best. Scoring system, there is no scoring system. I know, right? As hard as it is, as nice as it would be, it's hard to attract 25 people. So, um, lift up your cards, what you think the answer is. We don't have to be with these either. But. I apologize. Oh, does everyone know how Kahoot works? You raise your card at what the color answer is. Sometimes there's multiple answers. We can do two and two. Everyone ready? All right. Three, two, raise it as soon as you know the answer. It's like a speed contest. Three, two, one. I can't see it. Talking to new people and also having other people talk, right? 